Hello everyone, my name is Hongerson and welcome back to this Imperator Rome campaign. So, we have just finished this glorious war against Paeonia here, and uh, whatever this guy is called. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bother pronouncing that. So, um... Should we try and go for some more? I mean, it is tempting. When does the Divine Sacrifices go out in 2019? <clears throat> uh, how much would it cost to sacrifice yet another pig? 69, Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, we do have claims on the majority of things down here. Uh, we were also looking at actually trying to fabricate on you, I believe. It's a bit expensive, but hey ho. Let's just go for it. So declaring war on you means we can fight all of these guys and take it over. Presume we do not have a claim on you. <clears throat> Declaring war on you would bring us into conflict with Rome. Um, which is probably going to be kind of awkward. Rome is still kind of power- well, still. They are kind of powerful, so... Yeah. I think this should be fine. I mean, we are getting a load of ships. <laughs> There is that, at least. Um, you can't sell boats in this game, unfortunately, but... Uh, tyranny, we don't particularly need... Uh, trireme, is it triremes we got? No, it's like Burnians. Well, uh, let's get one of those things anyway. Right, we also had... I, I, I forgot, that's why we changed the governor in the first place. We do actually have a thing where uh, these guys do want to convert Paphlagonia Superior. Which is... You. Uh, it's a tiny bit of tyranny anyway, so let's just go for some conversions there. How quickly is it actually happening? That's not the one. Uh, not super quick. Do we have a city here? We do. Should probably build a temple or two here just to try and get that sorted. Maybe a theater as well? Are we actually converting people here? Or assimilating people? We are. Go. Cool. Get a theater as well. <clears throat> and actually looking at buildings, we should build more stuff here. Let's just wait until next month and then we'll chop down or build another couple of aqueducts there. You're not doing a very good job. back to engaging pirates. Right, so troops are on their way down here. We have the following characters in prison abroad. Yeah, well. They shouldn't have been caught in the first place. Yeah, I mean, it is very tempting to swap here, but commerce income plus 25% and trades. Well, we actually have one more here. Um, I don't think we want to give this up. Nobles do want, they already have cloth. They can have some marble. There you go. I don't know. I, I still think we want to try and grab as much money as we want. I mean, there's no real rush. 
There's nothing time-wise we need to reach at this stage. We'll just go for some more research points as well. Because why not? So in terms of this battle, you will want to go and siege down, yeah. The glorious city ASAP. And you can, I don't know, just chill and siege down, whatever. So, um, I think we'll just go for it. We can actually call in Megalopolis. Problem is, they're probably going to siege down some stuff for themselves. Eh. Might as well make use of them. Could we actually turn you into a feudatory? No. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's go and siege down some things here then. We'll go and siege down that fort as well, slash capital. Well, the good news is it's keeping these guys distracted, so yeah, okay, that's fine. He's not going to be able to siege anything down, so good news all around. So the question is, oh, we can't check it out. I need to check whether we can turn this guy into a feudatory as well, because the more feudatories, the better. Um... Monte Tyranny diplomatic relations. None of these things are particularly good. In fact, we should probably focus on trying to build some more buildings instead. Yeah. Now this is a bit surprising. I would have thought there would be a bit more cities. Uh, but ah oh well. So unless I'm incredibly mistaken, uh, which I am, because we did manage to get one more place here. I was about to say we should have built stuff everywhere, but obviously since we did colonize another place, we do have one more. Uh, these on the other hand should have buildings everywhere. And same with you. And same all the way to you. So that does mean we can start Focusing on other areas though. Now in terms of um, Population Well, it's all pretty nice populated so Well, let's keep going here. I mean Eastern Roman Empire is supposed to be kind of Greek focused anyway, so I think it makes sense to build this way Also, I do want your land we should look at attacking you ASAP Anyway, let's start here then. Um, you have built silly buildings, as expected. So let's plonk down some libraries and an academy as well. There we go, and then we run out of money. <laughs> All right, we'll get the cash influx as soon as we finish this siege though. As soon as we finish this siege. I can't talk today. Um. Which is not going to be anytime soon, apparently. How about now? There we go. Wow, 48 ducats. It will have to do. We could. No, we can't because you are still being sieged down. Okay. Well, we can crush this army. And also, we can get free stability for 18 ducats. Well, it's not free. It's essentially free. Okay, and if you could kindly finish the siege here. Oh, let's go and grab all of these fantabulous cities down here. Thank you. Alright, so you can go for that one. Um, you are a bit short on food at the moment so I think what we'll do is we'll just send you over here and have you siege down these things for now just so you can get a bit more food 
89 ships. I am tempted to split this into two. Obviously they're still going to follow each other if you leave them doing their thing, but it might still be worth it. Now I don't particularly oh, nice. want you to siege this guy down completely. That might be um, not super great for me. So I want to keep them as an ally for now. If we get more powerful, we'll pro he'll probably accept becoming a, um, I was about to say, tributary feudatory anyway. So I don't think we need to worry too much about it. Okay, you have a mine. You have soon three libraries, four libraries, ah, three libraries and an academy is probably fine, mine, select the state, I should probably not focus it like that and it's probably better to, you know, check which provinces makes the most money and then build them there, but this seems to be going okay. Right, good news is that my um No. I haven't seen you down yet. Why would you do this? Right. Could have sworn I sent you over there. <clears throat> um that's a bit annoying though. And there's literally nothing we can import at the moment. Oh, uh, it hasn't updated that we are missing a trade route. That's a bit annoying. Okay, nice. So we finished that siege. Um, I do want to take over that one and... Have you got stuff occupied down here? Yes. There we go. Okay, dime. Uh, one aggressive expansion is fine. There we go. All sorted. And yeah, who is in charge of this siege? I will assume control of the siege. Go away somewhere. Because I want the shiny money for myself. Okay, excellent. So... At the moment, it, my, my uh, ally is kind of dangerously close to being um, sieged out. Which is obviously not something we do want, but... It's not something I can direct, well I could, but... Um, question is, would this guy capture everything? He might very well do. At the moment he doesn't seem very, seems slightly confused about life though. Because the DFI ruler, unintegrated culture group happiness is very nice, and provincial loyalty plus 05. Um, yes please, and I definitely want that one as well. Army morale recovery isn't bad either. I mean, once we actually get into some serious wars, that's going to be quite helpful. At the moment it doesn't really matter that much, but hey ho. And yeah, I think we're going to keep stacking up the stability. Because we are going to rake up quite a bit more aggressive expansion. If we can, you know, finish sieges. There we go, okay. This one is finished now, so... Um, I think we want to go and see whether we can... Oh, we can't pass. Why can't we pass? Oh, is that a fort? It is, isn't it? Well, that's a bit of a... Bummer. Okay, I have that sorted now though. So, 
in theory. Obviously that means they finish the siege immediately. <laughs> um, blah, 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 okay, whatever. So, oh, they do have that one. They won't be able to um, force him out of the war. All right, okay, so we have technically everything we need now. Let's see if we can just grab everything. So let's see. Uh, we could create Ellis as a feudatory. And we could create a Italian revolt as a client state. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to, let's see here then. So if we negotiate with you, we want Italian stuff. We can't get this because why? Oh, this is occupied by Megalopolis. But that one's occupied by me. Hang on now, I'm very confused here. Do have another import here i think i'm just going to go with the livestock here because it changes promotion speed so it's pretty nice and we are definitely going to get the provincial loyalty that is pretty amazing okay what was i thinking here now so i'm at war with someone else now i'm at war with asanya who are you are you Right, but well, we don't want to siege. Well, we do want to steal you as well, of course. And it is another city, so we can grab all the juicy money from there. Ah, nice. Right, my friend. You are about to be spanked. So, we're going to take control of the siege because we are awesome. Then we're going to siege all of this back. So, I'm still not quite sure. I can, why can I not take this? To capital Corinthos. Oh, that's the Sonia. Sakintos needs to be a coastal territory. Adjacent to your land or adjacent to something already in the treaty. You are definitely coastal. Can't see how it's not coastal. But yeah, I mean, I could potentially make them into a client state. Um. Have you lost your mind? Um, well, are you a depressed founder? Which is pretty nice. Original thinker. Well, this is original for sure. Zealous, devout, secure. 
I mean, um, I do want parts of your land, so. Yeah, yeah. We also have a fort there. We don't have any fort up here, so he's going to be able to come in and be annoying. Um, but we can send some troops up as well. We probably don't even need to send anyone up. Our, our glorious subjects will be able to deal with this. I still don't understand why I can't take this stuff though. And we have cancer. I mean, we do want to finish sieging this down for sure. Um, but after that, we could just yeah, steal whatever we can. Nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have called in some allies, which is you, which is good. We need, we do want land from you and someone up there who we uh, don't particularly want anything from, or uh, maybe some. Ah oh, well, it's good. Means we don't need to fabricate any, fabricate anything before we can actually start fighting them. Okay, this one is done. I am tempted to. Let's just send you up there and deal with this crap. In fact, you have only two military skill though. We got someone slightly better. Yeah, when I said slightly, I meant, you know, a lot better. Don't take it literally. Um, it does have absolutely terrible troops. Nah, screw it. Come on, uh, you my friend, post march and start moving up there. And you finish this siege. Am I starving here? I am. I probably should have looked into that. Right, where's my boats? Are you anywhere near me? Yeah, close enough. Okay, get down here. And yeah, you can crush those on the way. Just in case this siege doesn't finish. I should have checked, now I'm losing a lot of manpower to this. Ah, well, uh, army morale recovery sounds good. This is painful. Um, so you're in place here now, you should definitely be blockaded. Plus three from siege engineering, one breach, and yeah, nothing for that. Okay, please finish this siege, thank you. 33 ducats is not exactly worth it, but you march up there and start dealing with that. Right, so now uh, we should be able to see here then. So. And just piece you out. Let's get that done straight away. Oh, we probably should have looked at uh, turning them into a thing. Right, so here now then, we can grab all of that. We can't grab any of these things for some reason. What we could do though is, we could make you a feudatory and make you a uh, Client state. Eh. And then we're definitely going to start improving opinion with you, like now. Well, you're actually not too whiny. You will be very, very whiny though. Well, actually, not too bad. Okay, and there we go. All of this is sorted now. You should probably have another Admiral. I don't really care too much. In fact, let's put this 
Guy in charge and destroy some pirates for me. How about you? Do you want to become a feudatory yet? You do not. So this is um, kind of annoying. Alright, I do have a new ruler, which means you need to be replaced ASAP before you get any funny ideas. I believe we had three. Yes, there we go. Right, keep marching, don't starve. Excellent. Anyways, I do think I'm going to call this an episode here. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.